Alrighty crafters, if you like a good deal, I've finally got my hands on the Dollar Tree iron-on or heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to do some reviews and tell you some things and boy does this take a journey. Let's find out if this is good or if it's crap, if it works or if it doesn't. So first things first, mine only has the neon and the glitter colors. I got every single shade that they had and a couple of each. That red is gorgeous. Cutting. It cut like a dream. I'm not going to lie. I just used the glitter HTV setting and the regular HTV not Cricut setting. Cut like a dream. Weeded like a dream. Spot on. We're good. So here's the test results. First thing I want to tell you is throw the instructions out the door. They want you to heat it at 400 degrees for up to 60 seconds. That will burn this. I did my first test on the left here. That was at 320 for five seconds each, and it was actually a little too much. Some of the adhesive is coming out, and the red shoe was starting to bubble up a little, so no go. My second test that I did, 305 degrees, five seconds on the front, five seconds on the back, perfect. I used my HTV Rant heat press, awesome. So it's good. It is a glossy HTV, is it the best? No, but it is a little thick, so if you're not used to that, I'm going to be using it for signs, so I think it'll be fine. But then, then we take some journeys. So after my initial test, I started opening up all the packages to unroll them and flatten them out. And the pink glitter, it was already separating from its carrier sheet. And I tried flattening it out, smoothing it out, everything. It is not wanting to stick and it actually ripped in one little place. And then when I went to open all the rest of my glitter ones, all but two were like this, where they were not fully stuck to their carrier sheet. It is not sticky enough. I have flattened them all out and put them on books, and I'm hoping that it'll work, because if it won't stay to the carrier sheet, it is not going to cut well on a Cricut or a Silhouette or any other cutting machine, because you really need that in order to be able to cut it. So there was problem number one. And then when I went to go open the green, I noticed that all three containers had these little weird speckly things all over them. And I was like, what the heck is this? So I cut off a corner and peeled back the carrier sheet and you can rub it off. Whatever it is, it rubs right off of the vinyl. So I don't know what it is, but before I can use it, I need to rub off all that stuff before I heat. It's weird. Anybody have any clue what this is or why? I think I'm going to just return these. Um, but I might test some out since I've already cut this. Like and follow to see how this journey goes.